Hi everyone, we're back here again uh, in Nobody Saves the World with some developer plays. Uh, I am Josh, I am uh, an assistant producer and QA person here at Drinkbox Studios, and I'm joined by... Hello, I'm Daniel, also an assistant producer and a senior QA analyst at Drinkbox Studios. Yeah, and we're here just looking at more of the overworld today because we've had a lot of uh, dungeon gameplay already. Uh, and yeah, and just taking a bit of a longer look at the game as well. As it is, I'm the robot, Daniel is the necromancer, some pretty late game forms over here. And we're entering the, uh, the Path of Doom. Uh, Daniel, do you want to tell us a bit about that? Sure, yeah, so the Path of Doom is an entrance. Oh, I need to switch into a smaller form here because Necromancer is a very big guy. Can't go quite get through there. But uh, yeah, the Path of Doom is a uh, sort of a series of arenas that you need to get through to get to one of the overworld arenas uh, later on. Um, you know, the arenas sort of get uh, a little bit harder as you go uh, and give you like various different challenges to use and that type of thing. And I think uh, one special thing about these arenas is that they tend to block your progress forward, uh, and they also don't let you retreat either, so you're just stuck in them until you uh, can get rid of all these enemies, so you can survive all these waves. That's right, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, <laughs> there's, yeah, you, just, you know, you gotta be, gotta be smart about your skills and, and uh, try to make through those waves. But, um, Speaking oh. of that, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will, try to, I will try to stay alive until, uh, until you come back. No worries. Should be any second now. Haha. -ha. Okay. Great. So, being the robot, I'm gonna try take some uh, apply some poison damage because I have a, an attack that attacks quite quickly, so it just helps me deal lots of uh, poison damage. There we go. That seems to be working. Yeah. I'm also I'm looking a little rough here myself. Uh, I'm getting hit a lot. Think with the necromancer. Necromancer is a very cool form in the game. He sort of has all these like different. He can summon uh, these little demon guys. Uh, from, from the corpses of enemies, which I just did there, but I can also sacrifice my own demons for an attack buff, um, which is pretty cool. Necromancer is really good, but he's also very big uh, and very slow. Um, so once we get into the next arena, I'm gonna switch on back to him and put on uh, a move called Ethereal from the Ghost, uh, which lets him um, go past a bunch of enemies like pretty much i mean it makes him ethereal it makes him like incorporeal um uh which will allow him to sort of like block damage basically uh there it is so yeah i can kind of just go through stuff and not get hurt by it it does use mana while i'm in that mode but uh, it sort of you know makes up for some of the necromancer's lack of speed I think Necromancer is one of the fun. Oh gosh, these guys are a free. Uh, and that's why uh, I picked Ethereal because <laughs> they're not going to explode on me while I'm invisible. <laughs> the, the Necromancer also tends to have a lot of mana, which helps out with uh, all of these uh, all these fancy abilities you're using. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, we're looking pretty good here. Nice. Ooh. Second arena done. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think we both need to switch to smaller ones. There we go. There we are. And you know what? Yeah, I think I will stay as the monk. Um, that's a pretty fun form. Uh, they unfortunately uh, aren't great at generating mana, uh, but that's fine because they make up for that with lots of attacks. Uh, with, like, yeah, lots of high damage attacks. And what I'm going to do as well is equip something called Zom Nom Nom, which uh, takes all that damage I'm dealing and also converts it into some health for me. Mm. Uh, the fun thing about that as well is that. Uh, the monk's passive ability, Smite, triggers all this lightning that you're seeing raining down from above. Uh, whenever uh, and that triggers whenever I have any changes to my health. So yeah, uh, taking damage or if I'm healing myself uh, creates lots, lots of lightning. Sure. Uh, I'm actually going to make a quick modification here. I'm almost out of mana, so I'm going to use another skill called Magic Life. Uh, which lets me use some of my health as mana when I run out of mana. Uh, it doesn't use up as much I guess the, the compare, like, it doesn't use up the exact amount, like, percentage of health that it does mana, uh, so it actually goes pretty far. Um, so that way I can sort of stay in my ethereal mode for, like, much longer and not really have to worry about um, running out of mana for all of these skills that I have. Uh, so yeah, we have now gone past the Path of Doom, and we have met 
<laughs> the fallen hero. Good job on making you through the path of doom. Thanks, buddy. Uh, thank you. <laughs> anything else to add? People die when they are killed. Very, very true. Very true statement. This is true. Okay. <laughs> okay. And you know what? We have a, a bit of traveling to do, so I am going to equip a uh, slime slide, which is a fantastic ability for getting around, especially when you operate it. As you can see here, it can boost our speed 130, 150. Oh, yeah. Okay, 150 percent. Nice. Oh. Oh, we've met the groundskeeper. Yeah. <laughs> that describes us. Something like a person. <laughs> uh, yes, the groundskeeper is one of many kooky, colorful characters you'll meet throughout the game. Indeed. Oh no. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Poor Just trying to clean up all of our messes. Guy. Super bummed out. Uh, yeah, that guy is uh, in a little bit of disarray. Like. We're not, we're not, we're not near his house right now, but you eventually get to see his house, and it's, it's not in the best shape of all time. <laughs> yeah, another quick slime side. I can just whoa, whoa buddy. <laughs> leave you behind. Okay, hold on. Well, then I have to pick a different form just so I can uh, keep up here. There you go. All right. Oh, and nice. We have met yet another one of these NPCs. This is one of the members of the Thieves Guild, and we're gonna help them steal some crystals. Oh yeah, definitely not sketchy at all, this guy. Mm -hmm. The Thieves Guild, of course, is uh, one of the uh, the three guilds in the game that are the source of many of the in-game side quests, uh, both like the one that we're about to do right now. <laughs> oh yeah, Here. just staying behind, nothing to worry nice. about, no, no big yeah. deal. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't possibly have a scheme. Oh, <laughs> he got us. <laughs> <laughs> Who could have seen that coming? Oh, nobody. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Classic little laugh. And what do we have coming our way? Oh, Nothing boy. short of deadly salt. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna switch to oh. a smaller form. Oh, I was, I was, <laughs> I was not paying attention. I did not well, have uh, here. you know, you got it. Got the point that they were deadly across. So thank you. No problem. Uh, that was just a really <laughs> unfortunate respawn point. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, I think you we respawned exactly where I was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do my old necromancer combo again of just doing magic life and ethereal to get through mm. this. Uh, the mermaid is great for this because the mermaid has tons of mana. I think I think the mermaid is the class with the highest mana in the game. Um, so I can I can just kind of keep this rocking for a while. And as you can see, I can just go through oh. these saws. Don't even have yeah. to worry about I might. Oh, don't worry. Sorry. Don't worry. I got you. <laughs> I got you. We're fine. Wow, you you really do. We're totally it. fine. Yeah. Very well done. Uh, I was I was relying on the uh, the turtles uh, just inherent defensive abilities. Also, they have this neat ability where you can just like. Uh, yeah, just uh, dash through a couple of things. I've also equipped the ranger's dodge, which should help me. Oh, but now there are all these enemies, uh, so yeah. I am going to switch to a form that can try to take care of them. Yes, I'm going to also do that. The mermaid, the thing with the mermaid is very mobile, uh, lots of mana, not the strongest class in the world, so. Um... And hey, uh, I have a neat ability that can heal, ooh, yourself and our familiars. Oh, beautiful. So let me just... There we uh, go. Thank you for that. Healthy dose of health. Oh, and we're back to more sauce. I'm gonna switch back to mermaid. Just quick switch. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna try get through this. Let's try. Dash oh, through. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> you know, it was, a good, it was a good plan. It was a great plan. <laughs> and as you can see, you can see my health running down here as I have uh, ethereal. But I can mm -hmm. keep it going for quite a while. Okay, I, I, I can get us through this one. There nice. we go. There you go. Which is good because I was about almost out of health there, so. <laughs> Couldn't be bad. All right, we have made it through this side quest. Uh, and <laughs> oh, hmm. and no Thieves Guild member to be found. Yes, should we, maybe we should go check on, on, on that Thieves Guild member? Nah, it's okay. We'll, okay. we'll continue. There's like so much to do uh, in this overworld. All right, no problem. Yeah. So one thing I actually like to do is, you see I've switched back to the monk, I like to have a, like a form to, just to keep around whenever I want to get moving in the game. 
uh, you know, it's like on this handy uh, quick transform meal. Right, and uh, I, I find it's always good to have sort of one of those forms for moving around the overworld and one of those forms for like some free healing that you can do, but I'm not going to say what form that is just to uh, <laughs> keep the mystery alive and we both died there. Yeah, might, might have been useful in that moment, but... Uh... <laughs> I don't want to spoil everything in the game. Yeah, you got to keep some mystery for the people. Yeah, exactly. I'll, I'm gonna switch back to the robot. I was feeling pretty good about the damage I was dealing. Yeah, actually, I think I'm gonna get off of the mermaid as well. I'm gonna equip another interesting ability here called the Slug's Secret. Where is that ability? There it is. Uh, so this ability lets me uh, deal extra crit damage to enemies that have negative status effects. Like all these enemies I'm slowing down and poisoning them, uh, they'll just uh, take lots more crits. Nice, yeah. I'm. You know what? I've decided I'm going to stay with the mermaid, but I do need to make a quick modification and put Strongman on here. So Strongman adds... Uh, so, so the mermaid has uh, a skill called Tail Swipe, which is not the most useful skill in the game. Uh, it, it can be useful in certain situations just to like get... Uh, enemies off of you uh, and that's pretty useful but what's great about it is that um, if you put strongman on it then you have a really easy and cheap way to uh, bash enemies away from you and then when they hit into each other and they hit into walls and stuff they take extra damage uh, so it's actually quite useful and that's a bodybuilder ability normally but I've put it on my mermaid to strengthen that very nicely done uh, and yeah, now we've started uh, yet another side quest. This one with the Knights Guild. Uh, and this one, we have to protect Knight Laura over here. So I'm going to actually switch into the Magician. Uh, yeah, I think I'm liking how this looks. Maybe I'll also take Magic Life, since it's a pretty useful ability. Also, get Crit King for an extra chance of critical damage. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Great. Um, yeah, okay, well then I will switch to the Rogue, actually. Um, the Rogue is a great, like, ranged class. Throw out all these knives. Um, and actually, I'm going to put a couple extra things on there. Um, I'm going to put on uh, Arrow Flurry, which is one of the Ranger's skills. And I'm also going to put on Ravager Rocket, which is just a lot of projectiles getting tossed at people. So that we can uh, sort of, you know, defend ourselves and 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 protect Laura here, one of the Knights Guild members, uh, while also, uh, you know, keeping ourselves protected and, and defeating enemies. Right now we have to. Oh yeah, look there, those monsters. But we also have to try uh, light the way by destroying all these uh, lanterns. Right. Oh, you got a big bomb there. <laughs> yep. With the magician. Yeah. So the magician. Uh, magician's all about luck. So. Uh, bombs will sometimes be normal confetti bombs, but occasionally we'll throw out a big bomb, which does a lot more damage uh, with the side effect of it can also hit you, and it can also hit all of your familiars if you have familiars going. Since we're all taking a bit of damage here, I'm gonna equip the Bless Me ability, uh, and yeah, Daniel, get over here for some healing. Thank you very much. That, Needed that. Yeah, and that healed Laura too, which is uh, super useful for this yeah. particular quest. <laughs> Yes, definitely. Any quest where you have to defend someone, uh, that's always a really useful skill. And there's other skills, too, that do a bit of healing that can be uh, very useful as well. Oh, here they go. Yeah, I'm also trying to use uh, a lot of familiars here because they are pretty good for these uh, crowd control and protect NPC quests because they just attack enemies in all sorts of directions. Definitely. Here's me. I'm using the Ravager Rocket. Ooh, very nice. Uh, yes, very cool move from the robot. One of my favorite animations in the game. Um... You know, just, but just a bunch of missiles. <laughs> yeah. Can't go wrong. You know? Very true. <laughs> okay, so we've run out of... Uh, there's no torches left in the area that we're in, but thankfully, Laura has one of her own here. Yeah. Also, I think we should say that, like, uh, we can't go into the dark without taking lots of damage. Yeah, oh my god. I got... <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you want to uh, use that bless me again? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. my point a bit too well. So yeah, we got a sequel to Laura right here. <laughs> Uh, we are protecting her, and she is protecting us. Yeah, and these bomb guys are really oh, a God. big pain. Oh, no. They do tons of damage if, if you get hit, so sometimes you might have to you know, throw yourself in front of them a little bit. Thankfully, uh, so the, the rogue can actually charge some of their uh, some of their blades. Like, if you hold down the A button, uh, you will charge them up, uh, and that actually adds a little bit of knockback there. So against those bomb enemies, that's actually quite good, and I can kind of just keep throwing those out to the way. Actually, I've got an idea. Since uh, if there are more of those bomb enemies, since they die pretty quickly, 
I'm gonna try switch out the confetti bomb, since we're out of lanterns anyway, for, uh, what is this? Zombite, exactly. Okay, so. Sure. And actually, I'm gonna put on, I know I used Strongman before, I'm gonna put it on again here, because I'm just gonna add to that knockback and do some more damage from that. And there we go. And now we'll be, oh, there we go, generating some zombies, and now just lots of familiars helping us deal with these enemies. <laughs> Now, those familiars will also take damage from the dark areas of this map, but, oh, yeah. you know, somewhat less important than uh, <laughs> than us, than us taking that damage. You know, if they die, we don't get reset to a checkpoint. <laughs> oh, and, yeah, they are the bomb enemies. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, my now that I have Strongman, my blades are pushing them way, way far oh, back. So useful. And it's also doing extra damage uh, when they hit each other. Also, I'm going to uh, equip blood pact so in damage ideal uh helps heal my familiars so that they'll last a bit longer even if they go into the dark yes very useful there, oh yeah there they go doing doing some great work yeah <laughs> thank you Problem. we're doing okay over here no, yeah. no big issue keeping keeping that health up oh. keeping ourselves maintained letting familiars do some work Fully customized yeah yeah looking good we did it! Nice! So yeah, that's, uh, you know, a bit of a, a longer, closer look at some of the overworld and side quests and challenges you can find in Novi Saves the World. We still plan on releasing in early 2022. <laughs> uh, thank you for your time, and hope you all play the game soon and enjoy it. <laughs>